Welcome back everybody. In the previous video, we created this login UI so you can type out your email address, you can type out your password, and you, you can uh, press the sign in button. So if I press the sign in button, what we're currently doing right now is we're just saying, hey, um, show it in the log cat. So password is whatever. I can type out Daniel, hit sign in. Now it says password is Daniel. But if I type in the special password of 123456, click the sign in button, it says your password is valid. So that's all working right now. And this success, your password is valid is basically inside of this if statement. So we're saying if, sorry, if the password is one, two, three, four, five, six, do all of this code. And right now we're just start showing it in the log cat, which you can access from the bottom here by clicking on it. It's, it's kind of like a toggle there. But what we, what we really want to do is when you press the sign in button and it's valid, we want to go to a new screen. So let's do that in this video. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go back to Android Studio. And what we're going to do is let's, uh, let's open up open up on the left the project. Make sure you have Android selected. And then if, it's, if all of these are closed, open up app by double clicking on it. Java, com, and it should open up like this. You should see main activity somewhere. Um, and this might be different. This is the domain I set up with, which I called example. But... Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and so my custom login, that's the name of it. So I'm going to right click and go new, then let's go active. So, so first of all, so we need, so we're creating the second screen. So the screen right here is good. We need to create another screen. Um, and, and screens in Android Studio or screens in Android are called activities. So I'm going to go ahead and see where our main activity is. Go up one level, right click, go to new uh, activity, I think. And let's do, let's go ahead and do basic activity. So this will work just fine. So we'll call this, um, we'll call this, what should we call this? So we'll call this um, account settings. So say, you know, you're trying to log into this and update your account or something. We'll just call this account settings. And it's gonna create some layout files and stuff, account settings, this is all good. I'm gonna go ahead and click finish. And I'm gonna go ahead and click okay, because that's just fine. And here's our new screen. So we have two screens now. I'm going to go ahead and close that. So we have our content main, which we can access from inside of resources, layouts, and then we have, yeah, content, content main here. That's the screen with our email, password, and sign in. But we also have, and this is opened up for us, content account settings. So we have these two new files. We have the uh, activity account settings and, acti or, and content account settings. So let's work with content account. I think we should work with this one. Yes, we should. This one is just kind of like the parent. I don't want to get. I don't want to make this very confusing at all. So just, I'm going to go ahead and right click and just close everything, just to, so it's not so confusing. And what we want to open up is content. Actually, what we need to do, we we have it created. So let's go back to main activity. Actually, open up main activity, and we're going to say, hey, whenever you click on the sign in button, whenever you click on the sign in button. Do all of this code. Um, first, we're logging it, and then we're saying, "Hey, if the password is one, two, three, four, five, six, do this here." So right now, this is just displaying to the log hat. So we want to actually do something. So let's do this. Let's do start activity. This says, "Hey, start a new screen." And then that's and then inside of here, we're going to need to pass a couple of things called an intent. So we have an intent, and we want to say, "Hey." We're on, what screen are we on right now? And what is the screen we want to go to? Right now we're on the main activity screen, so we can just do this. And the screen that we want to go to is called, what is it called? It's called account settings. So account settings, then we need to do that class.java. Okay, so we have this all saved. So just to review, whenever we click on the sign in button, and if the password is one, two, three, four, five, six, log something to the log hat, and then go to a new screen. Uh, basically, and as I've said before, screens in Android are called activities. So this is, you could have you know, 10, 20, 30, 40 activities. Um, again, so we're starting a new screen. We're on this, this uh, we're on this um, screen right now, and we're gonna go to account settings. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that, and I'm gonna go ahead and run it I'm going to go to the emulator and let's just see what happens. So I don't know if this will work or not, but we can we can find out together. Okay, so we're going to click the sign in button. Nothing happens. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
sign in, and boom, we're on a new screen. Now this is all blank, so what's so we need to add something here. Let's do that. Let's open up content account settings, and let's uh, let's just drag in a text view. Let's just put some text. Let's put it in the top of the screen. We'll kind of just drag it somewhere. Again, we need this is constraint layout, so we need to set up the constraints. So click and drag, and then let go. Click and drag, and then let go. And let's just call this, uh, let's say, um, uh, account settings. Okay, that's saved. Now let's go ahead and run this again. I'm going to go back to the emulator. And let's close that. Let's see here. Okay, so again, nothing if you hit that. Type 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Sign in. Now it goes to this new account settings screen. So there's one more thing I want to do. Say we want to display a photo of yourself here. So how can we do that? So let's think about this. I have a picture here, and if I open it up, you can see it's kind of a just a picture, a random picture of my face. Um, it's kind of a it's it's kind of a small image. It's I think it's by I think let me see. Uh, sorry, we can right click on it, get info. I think it's like a 200 by 200. Yeah, so it's four, dimensions are 400 by 400. And again, I'm on a Mac here, but you can do the same thing on Windows, I think. So just open it up in Windows Explorer or File Explorer or whatever. And I'm going to go ahead and use this picture inside of the app. So I'm going to copy it. So again, you can right click in Finder or uh, whatever you have on Windows or whatever. And we want to copy it. So copy. So we have that copied to the clipboard. Now let's open up Resources, Drawables. And let's go ahead and paste that in there. It's going to say, hey, where do you want to put it? That's fine. We'll do the first selection. Click OK. Click OK. Uh, and you won't get this, but I will. So I'm going to go ahead and hit yes there. So now if you double click on, so if you have, we have our drawables there. And if we double click on Daniel underscore Malone, we can see, hey, 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 here's the picture. So that's all good. So we want to actually display it inside of this, the, uh, inside of the, uh, content account settings screen. So let's go ahead and go to, I don't know where it is. Oh, it's in common, and I think here, here's image view. So I'm going to go ahead and click and drag an image view on. So this is where you can put an image. So um, let's go ahead and, so first of all, cancel that. So I'm going to drag it and just put it somewhere. It doesn't Put it right in the center, why not? It'll pop this thing up, and let's go ahead and open up project there, and we can see we have Daniel Malone. So I'm going to just select that, hit OK, and boom, this is kind of a large picture of me. So let's make it a lot smaller. So let's go over, let's with the picture selected, so click on it and uh, open up the attributes there. And you might need to switch between the different views there. But let's go ahead and go to this view and let's do this. Let's do one, uh, let's do 100 dp by, uh, then let's type in, so that's the width, 100 dp, and then the height, 100 dp. That should make it a lot smaller. Okay, and now because this is constraint layout, we need to actually constrain the image. We need a top, we need something on the top and bottom, or something on the left and right. So I'm going to go ahead and select the image, click and drag up below count settings, and then let go of the mouse. Then I'm going to click and drag and let go of the mouse. And I'm going to go ahead and save this. And let's go ahead and click on the run button. Go back to the emulator and let's see what happens. So sign in, nothing happens. One, two, three, four, five, six, sign in, and boom, there's a picture of me right there. So this is kind of, this is showing you how to go from one screen to another screen. So just to recap, so we have, you, what you can do is you can right click on there, go to new, activity, which is another term for a screen, uh, basic activity, you can fill this out. The only th really thing you need to do here is just name the activity something. And if you want, you can also specify a name for the layout, but there is a default. So if you do, you know, contact us, you can see there's already a, it's just gonna create a layout for us. Okay, so we did that. Um, and then go to main activity, and then start screen, or another term, start activity. Uh, we, need, we need to pass in on intents. So we have an intent, we're on this current main activity screen, and we want to go to the account settings screen. And again, we need to uh, just go ahead and add the class.java, so save it, go back to Android Studio, we can go back there. Oops, let's go ahead and run it again. So this is just a quick, a shorter video on how to actually do that. And I know in, in real life you'd also want to validate the email address, I haven't gotten to that yet. We're just doing password. So one, two, three, four, five, six, sign in. 
and boom, there's a picture of me. So hopefully you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.